Welcome to Rooster TV, and today we're joined by one of our gun forwards, Louis Hender. Louis, thanks for joining us. No worries, Tubbs. Thanks for having me, mate. First of all, we'll touch on uh, yesterday's game, a, a hard-fought loss to uh, Sturt. Uh, you know, just another another game that we, uh, you know, just three or four goal loss. Your thoughts on the game? Yeah, obviously disappointing again, mate. Um, it was sort of one of those games yesterday where it's sort of been the story of our year. We got, got it right for two and a half, three quarters and, and then fall away for one, which is disappointing. But starting to see a few positives out of out of games at the minute with um, some good performance from, from our young players. Like Mason Egon debut yesterday I thought was outstanding. Um, obviously second best player too. So it's nice to see uh, things like that things like that coming to fruition after, even though we're not getting the wins at the minute. Yeah, Mason definitely a positive. He had 28 possessions and 11, uh, 11 marks, so he, he'll be up for a Bank SA rookie nomination this week, so hopefully he can get the chocolates there. But uh, also a couple of other young players that have uh, impressed over the last few weeks. Uh, Frank Zeckley come back in and had, he played a good role, and Liam Verity's moved down back, and uh, he's played two very good games. Yeah, both being rewarded with, um, but from good form really. Um, Frank obviously went back to the twos after his debut a few weeks ago and, and performed really strongly. Um, Big Panther, Liam Verity, I think he's had a really good year and he's sort of been building building since since he got to the club to be honest. So he's applied his trade in the twos for, for a good 18 months now and now we're starting to see him play some, some good league footy and Obviously moved down back the last couple of weeks and just adding another string to his bow, he's been great. Yeah, And just uh, personally, you uh, got back on the uh, scoreboard on the weekend with three goals and 15 touches. You're happy with your own performance? Yeah, starting to get going again a little bit, mate. Struggled there for, for a couple of weeks. Obviously, um, when we're not playing as well, it makes it uh, significantly more difficult for the blokes up front. And look, we're working on that at the minute, trying to be as consistent as we possibly can and trying to find other ways to impact the game. But um, going along OK, obviously, personal performance isn't overly important, mate, when you're not getting the wins. Yeah, in early season, obviously, you had some good good performances and uh, picked in the state team, which was your first uh, appearance at state level. Uh, how was that experience? Yeah, it was really, really good fun. I had a great time and we had a, a great bunch of blokes and obviously it was nice to get the win, which we hadn't done in, in WA for 15, 16 years, I think. So... Yeah, it was really good fun. Obviously, having Carr as the coach was was nice too. Makes it certainly makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, we had good representation in North Adelaide with with Aidan Tropiano and and Jared Orman playing in the game as well, and uh, Tanner Smith as a travelling emergency. So it was a great trip and um, something I'll look back on. That's for sure. Yeah, and then uh, this Friday night, obviously, we've got a buy this week. We've got our uh, annual gala dinner. So, um, yeah, there's still tickets available if you want to want to grab one from uh, reception. But uh, Louis is always one of the, the better dressed players. So, uh, anyone going to uh, give you some uh, competition on Friday? Uh, wouldn't have thought, mate. Uh, that is that is one of my strengths. And uh, <laughs> normally, I'm pretty happy with the way I scrub up. And Friday night will be no different. <laughs> so, is there anyone anyone at all that? Might, you know, is Mitch Clisby a chance? He, he can scrub up okay every now and then? Uh, yeah, but he's getting a bit old, so he, he's just getting a little bit lazy as he as he ages, uh, big Mitch. Um, oh, look, a few of the boys go okay, but just they don't quite finish themselves off as well as yours, truly. So we'll see, mate. We'll see. And uh, a couple of milestones. Uh, one that you reached uh, yesterday with your third goal, um, 150 career goals at Sanford level so well done on that um, do you want to talk us through it was there anything special about it or uh, no nah, not really mate um, but obviously it's it's nice to kick goals that is just about my favourite thing to do so um, look it's nice to kick 150 I hadn't thought about it until you brought it up but um, yeah there's probably the sorts of things that you look back on at the end of your career and be be pretty proud of that you've been able to contribute for a, for a reasonable amount of time yeah and the other one, you're sitting on 98 games at the moment, so you've got your 100th uh, just around the corner, and I think uh, yourself and Tanner. Tanner's on f uh, 48 as well, so he'll play his 50th hopefully in two weeks' time, which will be, uh, or three weeks' time because of the bye. Um, it's, it's something you've always talked about, getting to 100 games. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, those sort of, those sort of mi milestones um, mean quite a lot, I reckon. Um, SNFL footy is tough these days. It is really tough. And, um, to play 100 is something that I'll certainly be proud of, but um, myself along with a few of the other boys, mate, we're after 100, 100 club games at the absolute bare minimum. I'm desperate for me uh, name on the locker, so that's what we're after. That's what we'd like to see. And obviously, uh, quickly, we'll just talk about our next opponent. Obviously, uh, with the bye, the Port do play this week, and they're, they're in reasonable form. So we've got the, the game at Prospect in two weeks' time. Uh, just a quick thought, your quick thoughts on Port at the moment? Yeah, obviously, they're a pretty good outfit. Um, I think their team will be significantly different when we front up against them in two weeks' time. 
to what they had on the weekend, but uh, they're obviously um, got a lot of listed players, fit list at the minute. So, look, it's as challenging as it gets, but um, to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And um, hopefully, in the back half of the year, we can sort of turn our form around, and hopefully, that game against Port's a bit of a kickstart. Excellent. Thanks for joining us, Louis. As we mentioned, Galden is Friday night uh, due to the bye, and then we play Port Adelaide here in a big game at Prospect Over, and we hope to see you all here cheering loud and proud. Thank you. Let's go!